Hey everyone, welcome to another session of Sarazzle Dazzle Physics. In today's session, guys, we're going to be talking about the relationship between electron charge, coulombs, and the number of electrons, guys. So put down today's title, it's going to be electron charge, coulombs, and the number of electrons. And as always, guys, before we get going, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button to keep my channel going and keep my content and lessons as free as possible. Right, so let's start with the following big question. What is one coulomb of charge, guys? What is one coulomb of charge? Okay, so lower down in school, you probably found out that there is something called charge, guys, and you probably talk about coulombs. But what exactly is one coulomb of charge? What exactly is one coulomb of charge? The best way I like to explain this is by the following diagram. So let's just say this is you, and let's just say in your hand, guys, we give you one coulomb of charge. One coulomb of charge. Don't forget that uh, the symbol, so charge, guys, the symbol for charge is Q, and the units, guys, are going to be coulombs, guys, capital C, and obviously in words, guys, it's coulombs, yeah? So don't forget that. So let's just say somebody gives you one coulomb. We've got one coulomb in our hand. Okay, to explain this, guys, we're gonna talk about electrons. Hopefully we can remember that electrons, guys, uh, let's say here's my atom, guys, over here, and we know that electrons orbit the atom here. So here are my electrons. This is an electron over here. So lower down the school, you learn that electrons have a charge of minus one. So the charge for electron Q will be equal to minus one for the electron. But is that really true? Is that really true? Well, the key thing is this. Yes, electrons have a charge of minus one, but now we're gonna give you the actual value, guys. There's something called the electron charge. The electron charge, guys, is simply the charge of one electron. It's the charge of one electron, guys. I'm gonna give you the value. It's going to be 1.6 times by 10 to the minus 19 coulombs, guys. So yes, every single electron has a charge of 1.6 times by 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. And it's negative, guys, because electrons are negatively charged. You might be thinking then, why is it lower down the school? Uh, people tell me that the charge was minus one. It's obviously because lower down the school, it's hard to get your head around this long number here and you don't need it. But now we know that electrons have a charge of minus 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. So every single electron is of this value, guys. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna talk about is the following. In one coulomb of charge, how many electrons are there? Yeah, so in one coulomb of charge, how many electrons are in there? So back to this diagram over here, let's say you're given one coulomb of charge. How many electrons are inside there? Bear in mind you know that the charge of each electron is 1.6 times by 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. Well, we can then work that out very simply. We can do the following. If I know it's one coulomb, I simply take the one coulomb, the amount, the total amount, and I divide it by the charge of each electron. So I'm just gonna ignore the negative sign over here, guys, so it's going to be 1.6 times by 10 to the minus 19 coulombs, guys. That will give us our value of I'm getting 6.25 times by 10 to the power of 18 electrons, guys. Easy stuff here. Hopefully we understand that, yes? One coulomb is the total amount. Each electron is 1.6 times by 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. We're finding out how many of these are inside here. That's what we've just done here. This then leads us to the following equation then. Q is equal to N times by E, where Q is the charge or total amount of charge, N is the number of electrons and E is the electron charge here. Hopefully that makes sense, yeah? Uh, in terms of units, guys, don't forget every single equation. Q is going to be measured in coulombs, capital C. Uh, the electron charge is also measured in coulombs over here. And, and obviously N is a number, so therefore there are no units. And look, guys, the equation balances out on both sides. So now, look, guys, we have a relationship between charge, total charge, um, the number of electrons and the charge of one electron here. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, if you're struggling with this, here's a very simple analogy to help you get your head around it. Let's say you've gone to the shop, guys, and you've bought loads of chocolate bars, yeah? Um, and the bill that comes when you've bought them, and here's the receipt, the bill is going to be £10, yes? £10 is your bill, right? Every single chocolate bar, each one of them costs £1, yeah? So obviously, the connection will be the following, yes? How many chocolate bars did you buy? Well, obviously, it's going to be 10 well, as your bill is £10, guys, and every single chocolate bar is £1, guys, then obviously the number that you bought is obviously going to be 10. Because £10 is going to be your total bill, every single uh, chocolate bar is £1, 
Therefore, you must have bought 10 for that to occur, guys, yeah? Easy stuff. So now look, we have Q is equal to N times by E, guys. Okay, so hopefully we're happy with that. Let's have a quick recap right from the top. Okay, so today's title is going to be electron charge, coulombs and number of electrons, and we did the following. We talked about what is one coulomb of charge. We said that if I gave you one coulomb of charge, basically what is that? What is actually inside there? I then said to you guys that every single electron has a charge of 1.6 times by 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. This is the electron charge, guys, that value over here. So therefore, inside one coulomb, you've got how many electrons? That's go it's going to be one coulomb divided by 1.6 times by 10 to minus 19 coulombs. It's 6.25 times 10 to the power 18 electrons. So if somebody ever gives you one coulomb of charge, you've got 6.25 times 10 to the power 18 electrons. And look, guys, it's a very large number. And then, guys, I put it into a nice little formula. Q is equal to N times by E. Obviously, where Q is the charge, N is the number of electrons, and E is the charge of one electron, which is also known as the electron charge, guys. And then I gave you a very simple analogy, guys, relating this equation to uh, the bill when you buy loads of chocolate bars. Yeah, easy stuff. And that's it for another session of Sarazzle Dazzle Physics. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button to keep my channel going, and good luck in your studies. Ciao, ciao, and goodbye.